Are toxic solvents in your C60? Buyer beware. In this video, we're gonna talk about how some methods of purifying C60 can involve toxic solvents. And you'll learn how to avoid these C60 products. All right, let's get started. First of all, why are solvents so dangerous? Well, not all solvents are toxic. For instance, water is known as the universal solvent. And uh, what solvents do is they, many solvents, especially highly volatile ones, you know, they're made in the chemistry lab. They have a, they're lipophilic. That means they like fat. So they, so they penetrate fat tissue and especially around the nervous system. And then when you get a load of toxins around your nervous system, you get unsteady, you get dizziness, and you really can't think anymore. Now, we did a show all about how to detox with C60. You might want to check out. But of course, the first step of any detox is to avoid toxins, right? So you definitely want to avoid them in your products and you definitely want to avoid them in your C60 because the whole point, the whole reason why we take C60 is for better health. So let's talk about how you can identify which methods are being used for which products. How are solvents used in C60 production? We've talked before about how C60 is made, but where solvents are commonly used is not in making the C60, but in the purification of C60. And when you make C60, a lot of uh, other molecules are made and various other fullerenes are made, and you need to separate the C60 from the rest of those molecules. It's a couple of ways that C60 is purified. And one method is uses a solvent method. And basically what they do is they use toluene, which is methyl benzene, and that dissolves C60 and other fullerenes out of the ashes, which may be 10% fullerenes, and, and they dissolve into the solvent, which is toluene, and, uh, and then they put them into diffusion columns, which are basically sticky membranes, and they run, they run, the, uh, they run solvents with the C60 over these sticky membranes, and the, the C60 and the other fullerenes stick to the membranes, and eventually at some time you'll get a, a diffusion column which is full of C60, then they flush that, into a vat and then they boil off the toluene and uh, the end up end product of that is C60 crystals but they're about a half a percent toluene still. Oh man, so how do they get rid of the toluene? Tol how do you say that? Toluene. Toluene. Okay, well what they do is how they get rid of the toluene is they basically take the C60 crystals and they bake them in a vacuum oven and like the first baking might get you to 99.9% .9 and then they'll bake it again it might get you to 99.95% you bake it again, it might get you to 99.99%. And so it's like constant baking, repeated baking in the, uh, in the vacuum ovens is how they get rid of those solvents. But because of the nature of chemistry, there will always be like a little bit of solvents left. You can never get rid of all of them. So in other words, the oven baked method that I see people list as their process for making C60 is actually otherwise known as the solvent method. Yes. So if, you, if somebody says it's oven baked or vacuum, vacuum oven baked, it's, uh, it, it uses the solvent method. Is there a way to purify C60 without using solvents? Yes, there is. It's called the sublimation method. And sublimation is like evaporation. If you remember your chemistry courses, in high school and it's where a solid turns into a gas and what they do is there's a machine called the sublimator you put the c60 and ashes on one side of the sublimator where it's heated to 400 degrees celsius and that turn that turns carbon 60 into a gas and it floats on and floats to the other side of the sublimator where it's much cooler and it condenses on some plates there and uh and then after you're done running it you take the plates out and you, they, they take off the c60 crystals and now you have high purity C60 crystals. Did you just give away our secret? Of no, how we... there's lots of, there's many manufacturers out there that actually use sublimated C60. And, uh, and what that, in that, that way, is the C60 has never been exposed to a solvent. So you know there's zero solvents in that product. Okay. So I thought that, but there's, we're like the only company that actually uses sublimated C60, us and like one other company. Yes, right? that's true. There's only, I think, two, maybe three companies that use sublimated C60. It's, it's a more advanced process on purification. Is it more expensive? Uh, yeah, it is a little bit more expensive, but, uh, but it makes a higher quality product and that's what we're really aiming for. So you, when you take a sublimated C60 product, you know it's never been exposed to solvents and no solvents are present. So I've seen the C60 described as 99.99% .99 pure. Is that talking about 
like pure of solvents or what does that mean? That just means what is in it. Okay. It's like you might, you might that uh, the little tiny percent might be solvents, but if it's a, but when you, you have a sublimated method, it's uh, there's never been, there's no solvents in it at all. Right. There so might it's like be a hundred percent. Yeah. Pure C60. Well, nothing can be a hundred percent. There'd okay. probably be maybe a tiny touch of C70 or something, but uh but yeah, there's you know guaranteed that it's never been exposed to solvents and there's no solvents in the product. Right. And I'm you know, there's food grade C sixty, right? Which we should be taking, which should be at least ninety nine point nine nine percent. Nine nine percent. So if you see uh it's listed as ninety nine point nine percent, watch out because there's a you know a yeah. point. Yeah, anything like that, it usually means that it's uh, that it was a vac that it was a toluene produced system and vacuum oven baked, and it just matters how many times you bake, bake it in the vacuum oven. When you make the first, I mean, as I mentioned before, when you make the first product, it's probably 99.5% C60, a half a percent toluene. Then you bake it the first time, it goes to 99.9%, and that means it's 0.1% toluene, and then they bake it again, it goes to 99.99% or 95%, and then you bake it again, and so you just need to constantly bake it, but there's always a little bit of toluene left. Another thing you can do to make sure you're safe is to look at the third-party testing if they do third-party testing. So if the company doesn't offer um, certificates of analysis that you can actually look at on your product, then that might be a red flag that what they're saying may not actually be backed up by scientific evidence. Uh, so when you buy C60 Purple Power, you do have access to all of those certificates of analysis on your product. Everything is third-party tested for purity, bioavailability, and concentration. Oh, and we should also note that we use 100% organic oils as the base that the C60 is dissolved in. And so you can also be guaranteed on that as well. Awesome. So visit c60purplepower.com for more information and to try C60 today. And if you want to learn more about the benefits of C60, definitely check out the C60 show uh, on our channel, which is C60 Purple Power uh, on YouTube. And you can also listen to us from your favorite podcast app. Just search for the C60 show. Hey Siri, how do you pronounce toluene? Toluene. Toluene. I knew it! <laughs>